as we are all tripping back to ordinary, as we are all tripping back to, you know, the spiritual and ancestral belief system, there is one, you know, factor or variable that is, has been causing confusion in the Igbo community. Now, what factor is it? The chief factor. Everybody wants to know who or who his or her chi is. Everybody wants to do what we call a dot to chi. Everybody wants to nye chi yife or ibu email isili chi ye ite. Now, it becomes a very confusing factor. Even me, myself, have actually experienced this problem of chi. You go to this first divination and they give you another person, which we all know that it's quite dangerous when you're giving the wrong person items that are reserved for your gene now why is that you on on the normal now if you as a person the things that are due to you are not being given to you and given to somebody else you will not be happy about it and you'd always try to basically find what is yours and guard it jealously this is how the cheating is for us here in evil spirituality now what are we going to do here what are you going to do here when you found out that the chi of your chi is not really being responsive and probably you've been feeding the chi of another person now what do you do here what ritual would you do here for you to be able to identify who your chi is now in my own case i did this ritual of now how did we do it what we started here was first of all buying the female chicken every woman is supposed to offer a you know once you're if you're a woman you're going to offer a feminine um animal and once you're a man you're going to offer a masculine animal so first of all we started by a day before or prior to the main day of former we first of all got the animal tied its leg one side now with this and we now brought a basket closed it and used the stone to wedge it so it's not going to move when the you know the chicken or the the chicken is you know so you close it and you leave it now note that sex is a quite is quite a destructive energy for us so if you're doing any spiritual work it's always advisable to just be yourself in your spirit in your zen don't try to have any sexual intercourse even if you're married or you're dating somebody just abstain for it for this couple of days so once you've done that the next morning mind you you're going to close this basket yourself but if you're not around to do it it's okay but is um it's best how you do it yourself so the next day when you come back you'll first of all hold the stick and shake and make sure that that animal or that anim that chicken is uh, alive if it's dead then you know that the process has been destroyed or you have to start all over so once the chicken is alive what you're going to do here is to open up that basket once you open up that basket you use your hand and or definitely you're going to be affirming you're going to be saying stuff before you even go to the basket you're going to start with a girl for the process with you go for tell your ancestors tell your spirits tell your spirit guide what you want to do now so at that point in the area it got you to wherever you want now if you're doing this thing in the community that is not your own you'd have to be or in, in the land you're not in your father's house um just try and get sands from your father's compound now you drop the oglishi leaf and you pour that sand on that oglishi leaf and you start with you know breaking the collar accent you know the very usual process of uh, in your chin we, you know you're breaking the collar now you when after offering the first collar the second collar that you're going to pick up you come in front divide divide the collar use your right hand throw it away use your left hand throw it away don't make sense now this is trying to just say that obro knows his side because you're saying obro mbeke mba from bori mba unko keko kafo kongo so you're calling if this whether it's a man or woman which day were you born according to the evil calendar you're calling that spirit to come and take or come and accept this gift that you're trying to do and reveal his or herself. So once you've done that process and you've now offered your livestock, the animal that you want to give to, 
the chi or the essence they are trying to invite once you're done with all those process then that basket what you're going to do is don't close that basket again just leave that basket open use your mug and divide it into four places make sure you don't close it back again because you're trying to open up something that is coming that is supposed to come to you so once image in area you've broken the the basket into four places the next thing you're going to do is to take it out and burn it now once you're done with the whole energy because once you've done that you're just the main thing about the ritual is to make it will be a formagi it with you with you now once you're done with it you can now you know share communion the animal that's chicken that you've killed for your chi essence you're going to partake in it that's why i tell people that the whole thing of in your chin is not something somebody would do for you it's something you have to be there presently you know body and soul together and be doing it now once you've you know you've brought the animal it's the the okoko then you now bring out the heart you now give to the chi you know you're given and you're also you know eaten you give you eat the the kind of beverages you like if you take alcohol the alcohol you take you drink you use that alcohol you give that alcohol you drink your own whatever drink that is your you know your whatever drink that you like that's what you're going to use for this process now after that now uh, for my in my own case um i'm a dreamer so in my own case i slept and as i was waking up because my chi was it either it was from my mother's side in nemo or from my father's mother's side in ozobo so when i was waking up from that dream i heard somebody calling me one year ozobo one year ozobo and i was answering to that call so if you understand how the chi works the chi becomes your higher self so you and your chi are one at the same so once um, I had it in my dream, it's fine and cool. Then I went to Afa to confirm it. When I went to Afa, the man was like, okay, this thing is still giving problems. But the most vocal spirit that is interceding for you and saying things on your behalf now, it's your, mo it's your father's um, mother. That's the vocal spirit. And from the stories i've heard the spirits that you know because she she was a traditionalist the things that she you know the spirits that she used to work in back in the in the days were also attached to me like the apple and the oh, okay. from her side they said i should go and acknowledge them so it's just basically came to a fruition and my whole katakata running around and trying to find out who my onyowa is has basically come to an end because of this ritual or sacrifice that i performed back home so i hope this video helps somebody to um you know identify or basically stop running around and trying to find who his or her right she is because and it's quite um disturbing i know what i experienced so until next time god didn't go oh you want to have like it's the first time you're like watching me try to follow me or subscribe wherever you're watching this video from so um until next time see ya